welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to do a full piano tutorial on how to play Shallow from A Star Is Born. So this tutorial is basically a piano version of what the guitar is playing. So the piano guitar accompaniment to the song. We're going to start with the left hand. So the chords are as follows. E minor, D major, and G major. So I'm in the left hand, I'm going to play in fifths. So we're playing E and B, F sharp and D, and then G and D. And it's going... So we've got E, B, F sharp, D, and then G and D played together as a chord. So, should try that again? So then the right hand to that section, the three chords we're going to use are... So there we have a G and a D, an A and a D, and then a full G major triad, which is G, B and D. So together they fit like this. So the left hand's going to come in first. So they are played together. Let's try that again. So we've got E chord, F sharp, and then the full G major chord. And then the next section is goes to a C major chord. So the left hand's gonna come up to C and G, and then the right hand's gonna play some individual notes. It's gonna go C, D, E, D. So all of this is played separately. So it's like finger picked on the guitar. So we're gonna go. So we have C, G, C, D, C, G. E, D. Now let's try that from the beginning all together. So really slowly. And then the last section of the intro, the right hand's going to play You have these really quick notes. So the notes there were B and D, and then A and D, and then E, F sharp, E, D, played as quickly as you can. So the left hand is going, so playing G and D, and then a fifth of D and A. And together, that fits together like this. I'll try that again really slowly. And then it starts that whole progression again from the beginning. So let's have a go at putting all of that together. So this makes up the intro as well as a verse. So it forms the majority of the song. So that repeats throughout the first. So then the chorus is fairly straightforward. So we're going to go through the right hand first and then we'll go through the root notes of the left hand. So the first chord is A minor, which is A, C and E. And then the next chord is a D major, but instead of going all the way up there or all the way down there to the root position, we're going to play an inversion. So we're going to play the same notes, which is D, F sharp and A. We're going to play them in a different order. 
so we can travel to from A minor to D major quicker. From A minor, you're going to keep your thumb on the A and we're going to spread the hand and play D and F sharp. So that's D major, second inversion. So we have A minor, D, and then we're gonna have G major, D major again, and then E minor inversion, so which is G, B, and E. And then that repeats again. So let's try that right hand really slowly, and you're gonna hold a minor for four beats, D major for four beats, and then G major for two beats, D again for two beats, and then E minor for four beats. Two, three, four, and it starts again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. So the left hand then is following the root notes except for D major where you're going to play an F sharp with the chord instead of a D. The root note just means if it's A minor the root note will be an A. So we're going to play A and then F sharp this time instead of a D and then G F sharp and then E. So the left hand by itself is playing A, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Let's try that again together. So we're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. And then it repeats again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so after the chorus, there's another section, so like a bridge section. So it's similar to the chorus, but the chords are. So it starts the same, so we've got A minor. D over F sharp, G, and then we have D major again, but this time with a D in the bass, so the root note's in the bass instead of F sharp, and then E minor. And then that repeats again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the last section then is the bridge middle eight section which follows on straight from the section we've just done. So after the E minor she goes to a B minor chord. So in the right hand we have, it's like playing the D major but instead of playing an A we're playing B, D, F sharp instead. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then to D major. So all you're gonna do from there to there is just move your thumb because we're playing an inversion. So that makes going from chord to chord a lot quicker and easier. Two, three, four. And then A major. One, two, three, four. And then E minor. And then it goes back to B minor and then D, and then A. So you're going to pulse all of those chords in the middle eight section for all, they're all four beats. So that makes the counting uh, nice and straightforward. So let's try that again in the right hand. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
three, four. And then it's straight onto the chorus again. So the left hand is just following the root notes of all of those chords. So we have B, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. B again. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And because it's like a build up section, you can play, you know, the chords on the beats or you can play octaves in the left hand instead of single notes. Includes all the sections needed um, to play this song. I've listed in the description below the full chord structure with the lyrics as well. So I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!